silence. It's easy to say nothing and even harder to say something. You know, in school we are taught to stand up for other people, but sometimes the school silence our students. My name is Justin Green. In October 19th, 2022, I was sworn in as the first student member of the Board of Education to officially represent the entire student body in my school district. In my job, it is required that I fight and advocate on their behalf. But it wasn't always like that. It wasn't always my responsibility. You know, before that, I used to think that our students could advocate for themselves. And what I realized is that it's easy to advocate for yourself and even harder to advocate for others. So when we think about what we can do for others and not what we can do for ourselves, we flip the scripts and we show what we can do. Instead of being selfish, we are selfless. Ask yourself, what time were you when you were selfless? When I ask myself that question, I think about the time I stood up to a board of education and superintendents. I was 16 years old and I was still just a regular high school student. I heard that the township school that I lived in was going to stop sending buses for students to attend the county high school, the school I attend. I knew that that was wrong, and I knew that students would be affected, and I understood that students deserved the same opportunities that I had. I couldn't let that stand, and looking into this, legally it was wrong, and morally it was even worse. And throughout all this emotion and all questioning, I turned that anguish into action. The next week I went to a Board of Education meeting and I stood up to the superintendents and Board of Education. I addressed them and I said my opinions and my views. And later that night a video of that speech was posted to social media and thousands of people saw it. Even the superintendent of the county school. The next day when I walked into school, he stopped me in the hallway and he shook my hand and he thanked me for standing up for this school and thanked me for standing up for these students. And at that moment, I realized just how far the speech went. I had reporters at reaching out, asking me for my comments. I had elected officials asking me to run for office. And at that moment, I knew this was so much more than just me. While abiding this sense of pride, I had to bring myself back down just for a minute because this was not about me. It was about those students and their rights to education. Now, after hearing that, when you're put in a similar situation, what would you do? Would you stand up for someone that's in need? You may not think that you're an advocate, but I look around and I see a room full of advocates. You may not realize it now, it may not be your passion, it may not be your purpose, it may not be your plan. But when we advocate for issues, we create a, uh, we create a vision for a wider community as a catalyst of change. When we advocate for issues, we are no longer silent. And it's easy to remain silent on issues that don't affect us. I could have remained silent because this issue did not affect me. In fact, going to those board meetings, I was told I was being disrespectful for voicing my opinions and voicing my belief. The belief that the students should not be used as pawns between a disagreement between two schools. I didn't go there looking for attention. I didn't go there looking to put myself out there. I went there to make sure that education for these students was being valued, and not just that, education and voice uh, of education for our students and their voices and opinions. And I did that standing up for people I did not know. When we advocate for people, we create respect around the ideas that change the world. When we advocate, we create respect and solidarity and we push people, we push individuals, we push groups, we push people in power to create a common goal for civil matters. To be an active citizen in democracy is to be active in your community. In my community, those students are my community. In this situation, well, just last month, the court ruled in my favor and told the Board of Education they had to pay for the transportation for students to attend the high school of their choice. Now, we won, but it wasn't that easy. Standing up is never that easy, and oftentimes you stand alone. I know, because I stood alone many times before. We all want to make the world a better place, and it's easy to say, and it's easier said than done. But when we look at this, when we look at what happened there, we look at what can change, what minds can change. You know, I thought that nothing could change. I was just a student, but I went there and I made change happen. 
You know, when we leave this room tonight, the world will expect, it will demand, it will ask more from each and every one of us because there is too much suffering among us and not enough, not nearly enough compassion between us. And so we must do better and we can do better and we will do better starting today. My name is Justin Green. I am the high school student that stood against Board of Education ruling and won. Seven months later, I was sworn in as a member of the Board of Education, standing up for people I did not know. And after hearing what I did, it's now up to you to what you can do. Not everything can be changed, but nothing will change from silence.